photography is often called the universal hobby it is a means of creative expression within the reach of people in all walks of life and it speaks a language that everyone can understand the camera lens is a mechanical eye seeing everything and recording everything it captures actions that will never again be repeated used with a microscope it records the strange activities of tiny organisms with the x-ray it reveals the structure or function of hidden things if objects move too fast to be seen clearly by the unaided eye the camera slows them down so that the action may be studied in contrast hours of action may be compressed into seconds photography in one form or another exerts a great influence on our daily lives photographs bring news reports to life they strengthen the appeal of advertising they provide entertainment for millions and are an aid to education photography as a hobby can lead to photography as a career and often does but professional work calls for a lot more than just snapping pictures here and there for instance consider the portrait photographer to make a real success in this highly competitive field the cameraman must be a practical psychologist who understands the personality of each individual he photographs people want to look their best in fact better than they look so the photographer must know all the tricks of lighting and of posing the subject to get good negatives he must master the chemistry of photography he should also know how to retouch negatives to remove wrinkles and blemishes if he can't do this work himself part of his income will go for pay to a hired retoucher making the prints is a most important step in portrait work and good printing can only be learned through long practice and study all the previous work and the success of the whole job depends on the final print if it pleases the subject and her friends it may lead to more business and a portrait man must keep busy if he's to make money the illustrative photographer's work calls for a well-equipped studio and a great amount of skill and ingenuity each picture must be tailor-made to the specification line by the art director of the advertising agency requesting it an illustrative photographer must be imaginative for he never knows what sort of advertising picture he will be asked to make on short notice jobs requiring reproduction of outdoor settings or large interior scenes can only be handled by those who have big studios but there are many advertising photographs which can be made on tabletops or in close quarters making this type of picture gives the smaller operator a chance in the field of illustrative photography the commercial photographer is often called a jack of all trades he must be prepared to go anywhere to take pictures in addition to those he makes in his studio today he may be shooting the exterior of a building for a real estate operator tomorrow he may be in a factory making a series of pictures showing a manufacturing process yes the commercial man's pictures are likely to include anything and everything machinery food poultry buildings and so on because of this great variety of work the commercial photographer's field tends to overlap those of the portrait man and the illustrative photographer some of his shots may even be used by the press but basically press or news photography is a field in itself contrary to popular opinion a press photographer's life is not just one big thrill after another he does shoot exciting scenes from time to time but such events are the exception most of his work is routine in nature consisting mainly of pictures of people and places connected with the news nevertheless the news photographer must work expertly at high speed and know what constitutes a news picture similar to press photography is newsreel work but it is difficult to enter as a cameraman because the field is overcrowded this also is true of theatrical motion picture production 
In addition, it takes years of training and experience to master the complicated cameras, the lighting problems, and the use of special effects. And in spite of these rigid requirements, Hollywood has more cameramen than opportunities. But there are other jobs in motion picture production, not only for the theater, but also in educational, industrial, and other non-theatrical films. There are many small producers specializing in this type of picture. The whole field of photography offers numerous positions that do not call for actual camera work, but provide valuable training to those who want to become photographers. Laboratory or darkroom assistants and technicians have an opportunity to learn how to mix chemicals, to develop films, to retouch negatives, and to make prints. Studio assistants and cameramen's helpers have a chance to learn the practical side of professional work. They become familiar with equipment which the average amateur doesn't use. They learn how lights are placed to achieve the balance between highlight and shadow, which is necessary for all good pictures. Working as a salesman in a photo supply store is another way to gain experience. The best salesmen are those who know photography and are able to answer the customer's many requests for advice. Establishing your own camera shop or photo finishing service is a possibility for one who learns the business and has the necessary capital. Another possibility is working for one of the big manufacturers of photographic equipment and supplies. These factories employ thousands of persons, from machine operators to highly trained engineers and chemists. Persons who are interested in photography can start it as a hobby to be followed during spare time while holding a job or attending school. Some schools have photography departments and camera clubs. Many students acquire practical experience by making pictures for the school paper and yearbook. You can learn a great deal by reading the many excellent books and magazines on the subject. And there are numerous exhibitions where you can learn by studying the work of well-known photographers. There are private schools of photography in the large cities offering complete courses of training to prepare you for any type of professional still work. You may find that you prefer to photograph a certain type of subject. Many photographers owe their success to specialization. It might be still life, babies, animals, aerial views, scenics, railroads, medicine, or fashions. There is almost no end to special subjects, and some amateurs have made their hobby pay by selling prints to photo syndicates or to magazines and newspapers interested in a particular type. Picture editors on the staffs of publications are always on the lookout for good pictures. And here too is another job for the person who knows photography, the position of picture editor. This work is open to both men and women whose background and training fit the photographic and journalistic requirements of certain publications. The photo engraving departments of publications and printing concerns offer still another type of work. Thus, the field of photography is broad enough to provide opportunities to thousands of persons with various aptitudes, interests, and educational backgrounds. New applications for photography are constantly being discovered, and new materials and tools are being produced. Just what place you might take in this growing industry depends on your abilities and inclination. But if you have a sincere interest in photographic work, it would be worthwhile to investigate the field carefully. Some phase of photography may become your life work.